Here at Kalman Brown Academy, we um, are in the practice of enacting mitzvot and working with our students to live a life full of mitzvot on a daily basis. Bringing Jewish texts to bear on everyday life in a way that is relevant and meaningful for the students is really at the heart of what our Judaics curriculum is about. It's everything from how we talk about treating each other and creating guidelines in our classrooms for how we're going to live as one community, and it expands all the way through any of our various programs in which students are going out into the community and living the values that we hold dear here. Giving to others is really a part of what we do as Jews and uh, as people. Well, the project that we did in November, we went to Frank's Place Homeless Shelter and we uh, actually, our group interacted with some of the people who were staying there and other groups like sorted clothes and food. It was actually an old church, so it wasn't that nice of a building. And it was, they had a lot of bags on the floor and I could tell they really needed our help. And we met this one lady who we like got a connection with and we played games with her, got to know why she was there. We really had a connection with her. We've never met anyone homeless before so it was a really good experience for us. Before um, we found out that we were going to the homeless shelter I was kind of worried because I haven't met anyone that was homeless before and then when I went there it wasn't scary. It reflected on my life because it made me thankful for everything that I have. When I was in N3, fifth grade girls would come in and they'd play with me during my recess time and it was a lot of fun. And now I look back on it and I go, wow, that was their recess time. Just for them to take up my recess for like just me and all the kids in my class would just meant a lot. I thought it might be a good idea maybe if during our lunch, just a little bit of it, or our recess, we went into the nursery and we played with them. We've been doing it since third grade, now we're in fifth grade. What we do with the kids in the class is we play with them, we read them stories, we put them to bed. It makes us feel good. It's like not it barely feels like we're giving up our recess. It still feels like recess. It's so much fun. When you see a smile on a kid's face knowing that you like just made their day, it's everything. Lionsgate is a place where senior citizens live and sometimes kids go to visit them and do plays with them. What we do is we go and visit the senior citizens, we perform for them, we schmooze with them, we get to know them a little bit, we take a tour of the building, and we come home. They see people in wheelchairs, they see people that are half asleep, they see people who are immobile and it develops their sensitivity and their kindness. We showed them a Purim play of the story of Esther. In the Purim play that we performed for the Lionsgate, all of the boys who um, were girl characters and all of the girls were boy characters because on Purim we're supposed to be opposite. It was really fun because we got to dress up and stuff. And then the rabbi there asked questions and we answered them and we said our opinions on everything. And I was so proud of them because also they got to show the knowledge that they have from being at Kalman Brown Academy. They were really happy to see all the little kids there and talk to them. The children realize that it's a mitzvah and I, we teach about these mitzvot, but sometimes we teach about them and we don't do them. And when kids get to go outside of the classroom and do the mitzvah, it gives us pleasure, it, they learn so much, the senior citizens um, are so happy and it's just a total win-win situation. I do a mitzvot with my dad, and mostly what I do is I go to DBS to, um, to cook for people with my dad. We cook really good stuff, and also um, we go to the Voorhees Pediatric Facility, and we bring our dog. It makes me feel more Jewish when I do mitzvot, because doing the mitzvot is special with my dad. Giving tzedakah is a huge part of my life. Over the courses of my years of going to Kelman, I have given to a few different organizations. This year, my class is not giving money to an organization. 
We are giving money to Mora Ayala's friend's daughter, Micha. She is diagnosed with Angelman syndrome. Giving tzedakah to her is one of my favorite things to do because since she is an average girl just like me, she can save the money or use it in a way that she wants to. I give all of my tzedakah money to her this year because she is a beautiful girl inside and out and I know that giving tzedakah to people is the right thing to do. I think I was in the fifth grade and I realized that Kelman didn't really have a big amount of recycling going on in it. Um, we didn't have recycling bins in the classrooms, we didn't have any type of like advocation for the earth and I was really into that kind of stuff. I was like the tree hugger of the school I guess. We had recycling in our development in Cherry Hill and it was called Recycle Bank and you get points for every time you recycle. I brought Kelman four bins back when they were in the Cherry Hill campus and then when we came here to Voorhees I got them Voorhees bins I went and I talked to the mayor. The mayor said that he wanted me to come speak at a town meeting and I didn't know that I was going to have a day named after me but I go there and every time they have a town meeting they read a proclamation for someone special and he's uh, standing at the podium and just reading this proclamation about a person who has done everything for their community and has brought recycling and is really good about the environment and then he said my name and I was like oh my gosh wait that's me I was like really excited it was pretty cool I feel that environmental stuff is connected to Judaism because if you think about to be Shvat and even like how you're supposed to go back to the earth from where you came from I mean humans are made from the earth if you learn that in the Flamash and everything so it is important to take care of our environment because that's where we're from and that's what gives to us it gives us life I'm giving back to Kelman by giving them recycling. That's what I did for giving me my Jewish education. Giving to others is really a part of what we do as Jews and uh, as people. We're trying to graduate students who are leaders in the Jewish community and also uh, of the world. They've always taught us, do mitzvot, help your Jewish community. And that was just amazing like all right can we get on to dessert now i mean i know we're like saying the blessing and we're doing all that but let's just eat snack now it's like but now it's like snack can wait i think that any student that wants to do anything should go for it if you want to start a recycling committee start a recycling committee get people involved make new friends do anything i mean help people. If, if you want to start a club where you could like start doing mitzvahs, that'd be a great idea. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. I mean, anything that you set your mind to is possible.